All right, everybody. So as you can see, we had to do it big this time. Xavier Skating, IBB Men's Physique Pro, Money Those Pro Consulting. So I couldn't do one. So, you know, like they say down in Texas, you see the go big or go home. So we actually have the coach here beside me and IBB Figure Pro. So, Jess, why don't you go ahead and just, you know, go ahead and break it down for us. Um, so this is, this is Ricky. I've been training him for about a year and a half. Um, this was his fourth show. Uh, Alan, his second show with me, and his, uh, this is Robert, and this is his second show with me as well. He placed second last year, placed first at this one, and overall. Nice, nice. Ricky's got a first and a second under his belt, and he's got a first and a second under his belt. Awesome. So, I know for me, you know, because I also coach too, so I know it's, it's, it's like, it's, it can be overwhelming when, a little bit when you're competing and you have athletes in the show, but also it's like very rewarding. Even though you, you need to be hairy up trying to get on the stage, but to see them actually reach their goals or do better, even if they place fifth before and they come back and win their class or play second or third, right. like that feeling just like, ah, now it's my turn, but I'm just so excited for them. So, you know, how, how can you tell us how did you maintain yourself while you're trying to compete at the same time? Honestly, I just, communication, you gotta communicate with, with all your clients and I don't know, training them and them doing the same show actually like pushed me to do <laughs> to do way harder <laughs> so pro debut and clients winning hey can't get better than that right no right so how was it for you ricardo oh, um, i mean i was the first i was the only one in my class but uh i brought a better package than i did back in december uh, as well as my teammates so i'm happy we all just you know doing better than we did before it's awesome. they're all very supportive of each other too so it's awesome and that's what it's about you know it's you know, I tell, I've been with Kim for five or six years now. And, you know, I tell people, you have to be consistent. But the consistency isn't just eating your meals or training. It's also being consistent with your teammates and your coach. Because when you bounce around all the time, you can't reap the benefits that you're working towards. So y'all feel like that? Yeah, yeah. And, it, you know, you also, with that bond, it also helps you to understand what's going on. Like, if, you, if you're just somebody that's just reaching, trying to get all the information you need and not actually trying to be better at doing what you're told to do, exactly. it, it kind of doesn't help you out. Exactly. It's the purpose of it. So. So, they, all, they all do well, though. They listen pretty well. <laughs> so that's awesome. So, for you two, like, what, what, what was different? Tell, me, tell us what was different from your last show and what you did going into this show. Well, for me, it was... Um, it was training. I, I looked back on my first show and took a lot of pictures and seen what I was missing and what I was doing wrong. So this show, I, I pretty much focused on uh, contracting the muscle, mind muscle focus, um, heavy lifting, slow contraction. So that was all about me. The dining and the conditioning and the cardio. Those <laughs> I didn't want to do it, but <laughs> I always look at him and see him on these two on the IG and always doing two hours an hour. So I'm like, okay, I gotta get up and do something. So yeah, it makes <laughs> you hungry, right? Yeah. Can't let him it's beat like him. if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. So that was mainly my focus. Uh, for me, um, one of the, my weaknesses, I, I had to add size, so I added a lot of size on my weak points, and one of my main weak points was my chest, and I worked on a lot on my upper chest, and that brought out a better physique than what I had for my last show, and it showed today, too. Oh, yeah, I bet, I bet. Well, that, you know, that's... That's always a good feeling, you know. You know, Carter was saying like how he didn't have anyone in his class, but who cares? What What matters is the fact that you know you worked harder and you got better, because no one can take that away from you. That's the benefits I get out of it. Yeah, yeah. So where are y'all from? Uh, where are we all from? From here? Yeah. Where are y'all? Where are y'all? Oh, we're uh, we're from uh, California. Uh, I'm from Chino, West Covina, and he's out by uh, Orange County. Oh, nice. County. I used to live up in uh, San Clemente, so. That's where I'm at. Oh, I exactly. love that place. Yep. That's I love that place. I just live like, there. We're neighbors. You know, I, I literally <laughs> want to, like, just buy a house and just sit there and walk outside and just be chilling. Right just chilling. Right by the beach. Well, really happy for y'all. Really, really happy for y'all. And I hope y'all continue, continue and work hard. Um, 
my advice to y'all, even though you didn't ask, but I'm gonna just give it. You got a powerful group. Stick with it. Stick with each other. You know, keep pushing each other. Cause guess what? If you're not doing it, somebody else is doing it. And together, you're only gonna get better. Push each other as much as you can. Congratulations.